Hello everyone, Fizzledrix here, and I've got another episode of Champion Slot Machine for you, where we build two decks out of two random champions. With me today is Bacano Reese, who you know as usual in my head. I also have here uh, one of my uh, friends, A Chunk of Wood, as well as Victor Sigma Mindset on uh, Twitch, helping me build decks here. How's it going, Victor Sigma Mindset? I, you just jumped on. So we're going to do what we always do on this channel, and we are going to roll our slot bot. He's going to tell us the two regions and the two champions that we're going to use to build a 40-card deck in Legends of Runeterra. We're going to discuss the different strategies and the individual cards that go in it, and then we are going to try out a little bit of norms, make some tweaks, and then try to climb the ranked ladder with it. If you like the content, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be part of the deck building process, join me on Twitch at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday through Thursday. So, without further ado, let's see what deck we get. Oof, another failure with Shurima. Haven't I been here before? Forever watchful. <laughs> oh, we got another Anivia deck. <laughs> but this time with Zillion. Interesting. All right. All right. Another Anivia Shurima deck. Yeah, another Anivia Sharima deck. <laughs> oh, well, boy. let's go over to Legends of Runeterra and talk about what the champs do and try to build a deck out of it. All right, now that we're in Runeterra, let's go ahead and look at our champions and see what they do. First one is Zillion. He is a two mana one four that says play, create four time bombs in your deck and then predict, which means you pick one of three random cards from your deck. And then it says when he's leveled up, uh, when you've destroyed two allied time bombs. And his level up form says, round start, create a fleeting copy of each non-fleeting card I saw you play last round. It's a very powerful effect that allows you to create a lot of card value generation. The condition, the issue, of course, is playing two time bombs is a bit difficult because he's the only unit in the game that creates them. His, uh, ultim his uh, champion spell, I should say, is a uh, seven mana burst speed given ally champion the next time i would die this round fully heal me and grant me plus three plus three instead you rarely cast this card you almost never put it in your deck and you'd almost rather have your zillion die and play your second one instead of playing his champ spell with a few exceptions but if you do so then you would play and just play the second one then you get more time bobs in your deck and another chance to look for them so you almost always want to play a second zillion rather than his champ spell and as for time bombs they are two mana landmarks that say when i'm summoned draw one and advance other time bombs one round because they are countdown one and they say deal one damage to the enemies and the enemy nexus it's like a one-sided sweeper and time bombs can be very powerful especially if you start to get multiple of them at the same time and then level up Zillion, and he can make extra time bombs, and he can go a little crazy. But it's a little hard to do that. And then Anivia is a champ we've seen on this channel before. It is a six mana two four. We did our first video with Anivia. She has attack, deal one damage to all enemies and the enemy nexus. Kind of the same damage as uh, the uh, the time bombs, hilariously enough. But uh, also has less breath, revive me, transformed into an Agnivia. And Agnivia is a one mana zero one that just says round start. If you're in light in, meaning you have 10 max mana, you transform it back into Anivia and level up. And of course, Anivia's leveled up condition is a six mana three five and has attack deal two damage to the enemies and the enemy nexus. And has last breath, revive me, transformed into Agnivia once again. And so basically, Anivia is a very difficult unit to d deal with because you have to kill her first form and then her second form or else she'll just turn back. She'll just come back. But that's only when you've lasted until the 10th round of the game. So you have to play a ramp or a very control-heavy deck to get there. The champion spell is, Anivia, is Harsh Winds, Frostbite 2 enemies at 6 mana per speed. This card's pretty decent to put in your main board and is a pretty good card to be Anivia's champion spell. So uh, there's a chance we put it in the main board. And then this, of course, is just her skill. All right, cool. So that's Anivia and that's Zillion. Now we have to find out how to put these two champions together. So first thing we got to think about is if we're playing Anivia, we're trying to get to the late game, right? So I guess it's like a Sharima control deck. What's its win condition? Are we ramping into a feel the rush? That seems silly. No, that doesn't do us much good. Oh. We have any top end followers that make sense? Not really. 
both of them are not really something you build around. Exactly. That's the interesting thing about both of them is Zillion does kind of want you to play predict a little bit to kind of help find his time bombs, but he's not yeah, married he to, to it. Play ramp a little bit, but it's not required. Yeah. And so I figure we should probably play a little bit of those elements and then just find the best cards in these two regions. That's all we really can do with a build like this. So I think we're like, I think we want to play like Avalanche and all that stuff. We want to be a uh, kind of a sweeper deck. Probably going to need a predict kit and the plus three, plus three buffer on hope. Predict kit and then uh, the... Um, Xenotype Researchers. 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. When I'm summoned, grant 3 random allies in your deck. Plus 3, plus 3. Then you can use the Predict to find them. And then those could be your, like, game-winning cards. Okay, I could see that. So, in a Predict package, Ancient Preparations makes sense. And, uh, not if we're going to play Sweepers, right? Because it's just going to die. So are we more interested in sweeping the opponents and killing units to get to the late game? Or are we more interested in our predict package? Either way, I think this this two mana aspiring Chronomancer, the two three that has play predict is good because it will survive a sweeper and it's also a unit with predict. So I say this is going in. It's great. For feel the rush is great, but two but you don't have any keywords to stop chump block yeah exactly and zillion wants you to play him to get value out of his effect and not summon and anivia like it doesn't matter she just gets chump blocked anyway so like yeah i don't see feel the rush really getting there in this deck i do like the idea of xenotype researchers actually the more i think about it because we're just gonna have to play some good cards and hopefully they get some buffs and we get some luck out of it or what if this oh hear me out Moonhawk as well just try to buff deck units okay guys what if we play a kahiri deck i'm All just right, so thinking about making a kahiri deck <laughs> So you drop Xenotype Researchers and Aspiring Chromomancer. You go full on War Mother's Call. And Sweepers? War Mother's Call, Sweepers, Kahiri, your, and your champions. Except War Mother's Call pulling out Zillion kind of sucks, but... Yeah, it does. Yeah, the War Mother's Kahiri doesn't really... has that issue. Because I have to play the two champions. <clears throat> I could do a Howling Abyss, but I've already done the Sharima Freljord Howling Abyss deck. And it didn't go great. But um <laughs> I had to I was playing Akshan and another card. So I could rebuild that and just build more towards it. Actually, you know, that does seem like a better option, the Howling Abyss deck. and Because, like, what do these two units do together? Actually, I still think the Chronomancer. What do these two units do? Well, both of these units sweep and sweep and sweep the enemy. And so what we want is a deck that controls and then just has a game win. It has just winning a win con. Kind of like the Howling Abyss plan, to be honest. So let's build a Howling Abyss deck. So under this, we probably want to keep the Chronomancer, the Zillion, and we have and the Nivea. So we have to play a Avalanche. Avalanche. Light where's Ruby. that shiz at? Avalanche is right above it. Uh, I don't know if we need to run all three of each, but sure, why not? Um, Spirit Fire. That might be a bit far, going a little far. <laughs> Catalyst. Yes, I think that's the only healing one that's worth it, probably. If you have a long enough landmarks, you can run Feel the Rush and Magnet, Magus. Yeah, I would have to play a lot of countdown landmarks. Well, you've got Zillion, that helps. If I did that, I would want to get rid of the Avalanche. I'd keep the Ravine, but I'd probably get rid of the Avalanche because I probably want to play a few more units that make landmarks, right? Like, I probably want to play the two mana unit, the Rock Hopper, who makes a landmark. And he would just get avalanche sure away. I'm not sure the rock hopper would be a good idea because you don't have any units that are really valid for pulling in your opponent either. Yeah, there's not as much value to the vulnerable. Um, 
Ancient prep makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, preservarium and ancient prep. Uh, what else could we... I like, and the ravine also fits in that whole family of landmarks that break or unraveled earth to get the two rolling zones. Still don't feel like you get much use out of the rolling sands. I mean, it's just for easy landmark destruction pops, but I guess there are better options. <laughs> hmm. I don't run enough landmarks that I want to destroy. I think I want them to actually count down on their own. What about an inner sanctum? Again, units, what units really are, are really value the lucky finds? Mm, or Howling Abyss champions. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and put Herald of Magus in here because... So you don't forget about it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've done this so many times. I built a deck. Around a card that you just didn't put in your deck. <laughs> yeah. uh, Troll chant just because it's like mandatory for every... Uh... I mean, how good is it even here? I'm not even sold know. on Troll Chain here, to be honest. I think I need I'm more so landmarks good. to destroy, because I don't think Ancient Prep, Preservarium, Time Bombs, and Blighted Ravines are going to be enough. Hibernating Rock. Bear. Magus will buff your champs yeah. plus the Abyss-generated ones. Yeah, exactly. That's why I kind of like the Herald of Magus plus Abyss combo. Yeah, I really like this idea. It works with the champs we have, and it works with any champs that it might generate. Do I play a Soothsayer? Interesting. Ha! We were both on the exact same thing. Could run one or two Soothsayer. I think I do want to run one. Because if I get the Howling Biss out, I might want to keep it safe in some format it's against some people. Do I run the Absolver? Nah. Nah, that's not how we're winning the game. I need more landmarks. I really do. I don't think there's enough landmarks. So let me just search landmark and see if anything comes to mind no to all of it i think ancient hourglass to save champions or the herald or something or maybe just to get two anivias on board that is also pretty good yeah i think i like hourglass it's a way to save champs while another countdown card we could run endless devout but it's a three mana it dies and we don't have any way to destroy the sarcophagus early so it will just have to wait three turns I don't really yeah, like that. Off the rock I don't really think there's anything else that's going to work. I think we just have to kind of go with this and hope it's enough. Let's run some more predict to help with the... I want to run one or two three sisters just because it's a very useful card. Or scrying sands. You really want to focus on control. Yeah, I think this helps with trades and stuff. Let's put in two scrying sands. And a few cards short. I think I want to run right of the negation. Right of negation as a two of innkeeper innkeeper is a great idea yeah i should run innkeeper let's drop one sands let's drop one avalanche i think i like the ravine more and i don't want to have five and you should run, drop an hourglass yeah i think so too and so does a chunk of wood yeah, that's a good idea. Innkeeper's a great solution here. He's exactly what we need. Something to slow down aggro while also being a good three drop. All right, so this is what we've built so far. Uh, we're going to basically be hoping to slow down the game and control the board and uh, destroy some of la our landmarks. And then eventually we'll play the Herald of Magnus, which is a five mana four four that says when I'm summoned, if you've destroyed four plus allied landmarks this game, grant your champions everywhere plus two plus two and overwhelm. And the important thing about that text everywhere means that our landmark, our six mana, the Howling Abyss, has round start, create in hand a random level two champion that's not in your hand, deck, or play. That champion will also get plus two, plus two, and overwhelm, as well as the champions that we already put in our deck, Anivia and Zillion. And so our game plan is to have a landmarks destroyed, play Magus, and then hopefully get some of these, uh, some of these powerful champions going. So the way we do that is a few different cards. We have one mana ancient preparation, which is play, predict, and then after countdown two, it becomes a clockling, which is a two, one mana two, two. It's pretty good for a unit to help trade and slow down the game while also just looking for your combo pieces and your win conditions. So Ryan Sands is a one mana burst speed spell that says give an enemy minus two mass this round, and it predicts. And uh, this is pretty good at helping you win trades in combat while also predicting for a good card. Three Sisters is a very uh, 
powerful card. It has three different modes. I've gone over this a few times in the channel, but it has Flash Freeze, Fury of the North, and Entomb. All three are in fantastic spells in their own right, and the ability to choose one at any time is really valuable, which is why we run two. Hourglass is a two mana fast speed spell that obliterates an ally to summon a stasis statue in its place with the ally stored inside. And then when the ally, the land, it becomes a landmark that says countdown one, something exact copy of the units and landmarks stored inside. And so this is a way to save our unit while also creating a countdown and that will eventually destroy itself and work towards our Magus, a Herald of the Magus. We have Aspire and Chromander Cert, the two mana two three play predict. Uh, and uh, it's just a solid card in almost any Sharima deck, let alone a deck that really wants to predict. Preservarium is a two mana landmark that says when I'm summoned, draw one and count two, draw one again. It's two mana draw two cards, which is very good. It's just delayed, requires a board space, but has a benefit of being a landmark that gets destroyed, which helps towards our held maggots. Soothsayer is a two mana one four that says when I'm summoned, grand allied champions and landmarks, spell shield. This is pretty useful for keeping some of the champions alive that we create. More importantly, it's good for keeping our Howling Abyss alive in case somebody has some deck out there has Scorched Earth or some of the few other cards in the format that can destroy landmarks. We, of course, have our Zillion, which we've already talked about. We have Timely Cavern Keeper, which is a three mana, three, three that says play, heal an ally or your Nexus three. It's almost always going to heal our Nexus with few exceptions. This is pretty good at slowing down aggro while also i mean that's really all it does it slows down aggro by healing the board healing you and just being a body to block units we have avalanche which is a four mana slow that deals two damage to all units including our own very good at keeping off aggression if things start to get out of hand blighted ravine is a four mana landmark that says when i'm summoned heal your nexus four and has countdown two deal one damage to everything including your yours and the enemy nexus as well as all the units on the field once again part of our sweeping strategy where we just try to keep sweeping the board until we can land a howling abyss and win with through it we also have right of negation which is a four mana fast speed spell that says kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to stop all fast spells slow spells or skills by the enemy this is a potent counter spell that is pretty good just as a counter spell but it's extra extra text also make it pretty decent at countering multiple spells on a stack uh, but you do have to kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems Usually by the time you're using this card, that is not an issue. You can just destroy a mana gem and it probably doesn't have a lot of downside. We're running Catalyst of Aeons. It's a five mana burst speed spell that says gain an empty mana gem and heal your Nexus three. It's one of the best ramp spells in the game and is just pretty key if you want to try and get to the late game like we are trying to do with our Anivia and such. And then of course we're playing Herald of Magus, which I discussed just before and the Howling Abyss. And that's essentially the deck. Hopefully we'll be able to slow our opponents down, get out of Howling Abyss, and start playing champions that have plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm on them, that are also level two. We'll see if it gets it done. Let's move on to our first Norms game, just to play test. We're just gonna sweep, sweep, sweep Peru. Oh, another guy playing Anivia. Holy crap, who'd have thought? The Anivia mirror match. Oh man, he's like a real deck. He's like an actual control deck that probably runs like feel the rush and stuff in fact i'm probably going to keep this right in negation just for such a thing i honestly think i keep this whole hand seems weird but like he's a control deck he's gonna take his time i'm not in the rush either yeah i'm just gonna keep all this i really need to find this against a control deck so i'm just gonna keep it even though it's six mana these aren't great. I guess we'll get a herald, since we're gonna eventually work towards that. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. So attack here. See what I've learned? Yeah, you actually get the ramp. I did not find it. There's another Preservarium, so that's two destroyed landmarks. Presumably, actually. Alright, more 
cards. More predicts. Zillion seems good here. Yeah. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. We turn it like so. Sure. It's ramping much faster than me. Found his catalyst of aeons. Dang. I think I just play this Howling Abyss, to be honest. I smell One, two, fight. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't play him. I mean, I can't play the Howling Abyss. I need to get cards out of my hand. I'm gonna play Zillion. <laughs> Guess we'll get this, because we're trying to create Time big units. I think I just take it and then heal it back up. Yeah, for now, I'll just take it. This'll take it, you know. So we had two so far. A little off. So we can play Feel the Rush from now on. So I cannot afford to tap under Rite of Negation mana. These rights are going to be very useful. Turn it like so. Just going to attack. Try me. Sure. Here comes the field of rush with the right of negation. Oh well, same thing. Really. Um, I need the mana gem. So we're going to kill an ally. Yep. Sucks to be you. Do you still play engine prep here? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want any of this, except maybe the other ancient prep to trigger Magus. No, I want the another Nivea. So I can I'm pretty sure you want the other ancient prep. Yeah, now you're right. Because I need to. That'll give me my last landmark that needs to be destroyed. Son of a bitch. Do I just write that? You can. Yeah. Yeah, we'll write that. Probably just play Howling Abyss here, right? Don't I want this to start triggering? No, I need a unit here. Yeah, I'm gonna take eight to the face, and that sucks. Do not stand in my way. I can block four of it, kill the zillion. What do I really need him for anyway? Just gonna get it no matter what. Yeah, Fenrir has to die at some point. Yeah, I can't really get around that, so whatever. I'm just gonna block here. I need to prevent damage. Look at this. Pinnacle level up animations. <laughs> One champ, you get. Just give me Diego. Just give me an auto win, please. That'd be really nice. Oh, Nivea levels up next turn. Mm -hmm. Draven is. Let the games begin. Draven doesn't really get much done here. the Herald of Magus. Yeah, at least Ancient Prep as well. Yeah, probably. I was just thinking. Yeah. 
I don't know the right answer here. I guess another Anivia, so I can, if I get the first one out, I can flash freeze. What are you waiting yeah, for? Yeah, freeze two of them. That's all I'm seeing. Shame that happens when he levels up, not when he's summoned at level two. <laughs> yes. Do this, and that's probably game because he's probably got the something to buff him. Finish spell. Oh, all right. He's got a handful of spinning axes. Yeah, I don't really want them either. Well, you're too herald the Magus, and yeah. now uh, godly champions that you're never going to play. Okay. That's a powerful boy. I think Anivia is still the only way you actually defend yourself, though. Yeah. The Freljord's eternal guardian! I'm gonna swing with her. He blocks with her. You can spinning axe and yeah, kill it. <laughs> well, I like it. It's a four or five egg. <laughs> that works. Hey, that protects it from like blind lizard being. Yeah, or any other sweepers he's got. Ancient prep it if he tries to kill it, or a uh, ancient hourglass it if he tries to kill it. No, it'll come out and then if you won't level. I mean, does still have this though? No, you won't. Or yeah, you will. You would. You would still have that. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, that's the thing I really need anyway. I mean, I also have this, but. Okay. A new era begins. What about that harsh winds? Play the Maokai. Yeah, I think I do play the Maokai. He's got nine butt. He's not gonna get a sapling. Huh, that sucks. I put you to one. Yeah. I tire of voices. <laughs> Aphelios, huh? So <laughs> Too harsh in my way. You can... Oh, 
know, he's got the pink face. You can't really do anything about it. So. Yeah. Go for life steal. He either wins or he doesn't. The life steal doesn't do anything. Sure. He's searching for another drain or something. Mm -hmm. Can find it. He might have found um a uh. A new era begins. Can't you just like swing lethal here? I don't know. It's not lethal. <laughs> It's 14. If he blocks the 4 2, then he goes to 8. It's 18. So. Plus, he could have another Anivia yeah, Flash Race. He's 5, actually. So. I'm going to do this. See if he ruinations. I mean, you do also have uh, these old eyes still see far and clear. A Fury of the axe North. and a Fury of the North, yeah. I would pull a Nivea to the side. Why? He's got the most toughness. Uh, because then he has to lose his Trindamere. Okay, don't I just die if this Anivia attacks? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're, they're, he, oh yeah, he's got tough, so he does have more toughness. Right. Okay. So he just blocks there and he survives. Mm hmm. Maybe you should have replaced the uh, four two with Darius. Go oh, four doesn't do anything. Yep, I should have done more to attack. This attack sucks. I feel like you should have grabbed the life steal and not the overwhelm. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I could have actually saved myself, healed myself back up, and had a chance. I think this is gross misplayed. Not used to playing Halloween, but you live, you learn. Oh. I could entomb his Anivia. Might as well. Do it. Best I got. And play Leota. Cause... I need something with 10 butt. You Maokai can block Trindamir. Okay. Oh, well, if he had another Trinomir, I don't see why he didn't buff his Trinomir last time. But there's your 10 butt, so... Yeah, we'll yeah. see what happens. At least if he has, if he has another Trinomir, he can't open the uh, play first. Like, give him something. Oh! Like a heal card. <laughs> Catalyst! Holy shiz. A lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. She doesn't do anything. Play Vlad, save the catalyst. Yeah. I'd never keep my guests crazy. There's no way we pull this win out of our ass. <laughs> oh my boy, Scion. I think he you runs. Just swing, though. Yeah, I think he just swing though. <laughs> That'd be funny though. A 1410 that dies and comes back as another 14 something. 
is. All right. Well, he's losing his Nivea. Yeah. yeah. Just kill yourself as, uh, with the... This guy, Kindly Tavern Keeper, yeah. yeah. Play Scion. That's right. I think you're gonna come back from this. He's <laughs> running out. Of, he's clearly running out of steam. Yeah. And Ruination's not gonna save him here. I don't have enough Elias right now. It is fiery chrono. <laughs> yeah. Not a great thing, but what else am I gonna do with that card? <laughs> <sighs> Zed. And he's cheaper, lots of stats. You can save mana for the catalyst still. He just like ruinates again, that'd be hilarious. Um I think I just played Anivia. He can't kill me now. Right? Nah, I'm gonna play safe. I'm just gonna play it safe. I mean, this Zed is kind of nuts. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'll, pull you apart. I'll pull you apart, dude. I say we just attack now. Yeah. What's he gonna do, kill my Scion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! We pulled it out with a super dirty league game. Will pave my road to glory. That was awesome. <laughs> I'm tempted to keep both the Preservariums for the Herald of Magus. But not the Herald of Magus. But not the actual Herald of Magus. <laughs> <laughs> Hilariously enough, but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Drop it. Do I freaking... Do I scrying Sans' Teemo if he plays it? <laughs> no! <laughs> no bulk <bump. laughs> He clearly doesn't have it. <laughs> that would be funny though. <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? Coming up. Ooh, I want that Catalyst of Aeons. Or do I want the Howling of this? I think I actually want the Howling of this. Here's your wing condition. With the power of time. Yeah, I think I want the Howling of this. Swing! Swing! My research! My research! There was a little fella asking for me. You're gonna get poked. I am gonna get poked. Next turn, we can ramp. We can ramp if you wanna. You can leave your friends behind. Me? Me? Not by a long shot. Tavern Keeper and then. Scrying Sands? Kill the Caitlyn. Yeah. It's a weird idea. Leave your tracks in the door. No one expects the scrying, Sans! Of course, he has a mystic shot. It doesn't matter. But I'll get the mystic shot out of him, I guess. Oh, okay. Searching for the mystic shot. And he got somebody that's going to give Caitlyn elusive. So sad. I know another route. Well, you can kill that thing at least. Yeah. You make me sad. I can't kill Caitlyn. I'm just gonna attack with this guy. What's he gonna do? Block with one of those two guys? Preservarium. 
Preserver. Am I just avalanche here? Yes. I kind of want a catalyst. You need a blighted ravine plus avalanche. Mm hmm. What you gonna do, my friend? What you got? Okay. Lock here. Almost crying sands you. Who do we want here? I don't think we want any of this to be honest. I'm skipping it. I just hourglass? No, he does this Galen's not gonna do any damage. That's fine with me. Alright. Oh, I thought he pokey sticked. Never mind, he pokey sticked those two. That was silly of me. Oh well. That was the proper way to do it. Um That's play Howling Abyss, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have a generate a champ. Give me a card. This looks like your free turn to do so. Yep. Satch. Ooh, I could duplicate the Howling Abyss. That sounds awful. You're right, it <laughs> does. <laughs> Just play Avalanche. Yep, see if he plays more units and then I drop the Blighted Ravine. Or flowey. What a certain. I got ways to find the mushroom. I don't like any of this either. He's probably not I running need Aftershock. I need Harold of Magus, that's who I need. Yeah. Pay debt. They grow up so Hey, knock it off. It's not that one. This one. Blow stuff up. Ooh, a Luciano. Damn, a third lighted in Halid with this. Sad. <laughs> You plan him, kid. Point the way, and I'll make the way. Armed and ready. Stuff I have to resort to to not get team mode. No, not that person. Not the overachieve Ava. Ooh, round start rally seems good. But what seems even better is Ignivia. He's gonna rally. Cool. Get him to use it on him. It's fine with me. I still got an insane amount of damage coming your way, buddy. Your units is dead. Much. Oh, 
I need to heal. Put a time bomb on top. Because it ain't got no puff caps on it. Response. Maybe I don't die from puff caps. Please don't kill me. Ooh, it was another time bomb, thank God. I swing, there's a lot of direct damage. I don't think he can answer it. I don't want to give him a chance to play like a Karina or something. <sighs> he might have another one of those draw cards. He better just kill me that way. That's right. It is a great day. Yep, shame it ended the way it did. Man, it's cold today. Man, I'm playing another Freljord Shadow Isles deck. Jeez. It's a lot of that today. It's only negative four. I'll keep this. It's negative four outside. Jeez. Negative four Celsius. So light. Um, All this sucks. I want my ramp. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Get Blighted Ravine anyway. A true Felyorian welcome. Guess they're gonna need Harold eventually. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. Don't touch it. I should have just taken that so I could just heal with this guy. Let's <sighs> pass. Well, you don't always have to spend all our mana. Man, I seem to draw all three Howling Abyss multiple times with this deck. It's kind of crazy. Sure, we'll do that.
Heal them up and knock them down. Oh, level two Mantheon! He doesn't get any extra keywords because I haven't targeted enough allies. <laughs> Guess get best get them tavern keepers to start healing your allies. Right. <laughs> also using hourglasses. <laughs> We smacking you hard. We giving you the boom booms. You might flash freeze it, but whatever. It still make me feel good. Cool, huh? Okay. Uh. Aaron's good. Zillion to find more time, more landmark countdowns. Might be a heroin. Play a zillion here. Guess the blighted ravine. It's a countdown landmark. Got new. <laughs> okay. Today we say enough. <laughs> Really? That's how you thought it was going to go, Zillion? I didn't. I mean, it's not top tier, but it's performing pretty well. A chunk of wood knows what he's doing. He's got himself a brain. He's got himself a chunk of brain. Another Freljord deck. It's Freljord day, baby! I kind of like this full hand, except for the Kindly Tavern Keeper. He's not going to be that aggressive. Yeah. I don't want to get hit by uh, Feel the Rush. And he's definitely a Targon's Peak deck, so. Yes, it is, buddy. I eh, just do an Ancient Prep. Why don't we use that? I don't want none of this. Welcome to the tipsy house. My useless healing is better. Mine ramps. Presumably better. We'll see. Let's take this outside. Yeah, you hit me in the face, I guess. We're gonna need a herald eventually, so. or something we're gonna go into a scorched earth maquette where i just go screw it we all die I play a blighted ravine and everybody dies and the next turn i play herald of magus hmm. it's 
doesn't seem correct, but okay. Should I just get uh, Ancient Hourglass my Zillion just to... Nah. Targon's probably going to hit it knowing my luck. No? Oh. Hit Herald, and I'm actually going to play Herald this turn. That's perfect. You can Hourglass your Herald for double effect. That's what he got for zero, huh? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do just that. And then I'm gonna play the Howling Abyss. Yeah. Now we're gonna get some big dudes. I just saw your woo statement to chuck away. Sorry, I'm a little delayed on that. Look at this 8-8 eight, eight misfortune for 3 mana. That deals 3 damage to the enemy nexus at the same time. So that cost him actual mana. That wasn't his... Yeah. I need his good damage. Obliterates. No prey, no pay. Is it worth doing that right now, and swinging? I think it might be actually. Uh... Time time again? Oh dear. Of course, it could mean that he gets a field rush later, but. I'm not sure you swing with Zillion. I don't. I don't. <laughs> He's gonna trade. No, oh, one mana six six Timo. <laughs> Too bad. He's like one of the worst ones you can possibly get. But he's still one mana 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Even if he isn't making any puff caps. <laughs> so sad. Double of zero is zero. Forever watch. Ooh, a victor. For free. Time of machines is now. Feel the rush. Yep, saw that coming. It's like I'm just gonna cast it. I'm tired of it not hitting. <laughs> Nah, that's not worth it. Not worth it at all. So I swing with the Anivia and him. I swing out. We're gonna do this, see what happens. If I play the Ravine here, will it kill the Anivia or Anivia come back before the death happens? Oh. 
it won't kill an area because it's a four five. Eight. Four five, you're right. <laughs> you know that for sure. So I gotta survive one turn with the leveled up Corellian soul? That's not great. Eternal Guardian, all right. I do love an audience. Animation might be able to help you. Oh, that that sucks though. I have the best job. I wish I had that right when he had the feel the rush. Grabs Equinox, forgets their champions. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. <laughs> so do I develop or do I just attack? That's the question. I don't think my attack wins, so I think I develop. I do have the right of negation, so. I'm gonna play this three mana eight ten with overwhelm. The eye of Twilight sees all. Watch him try to play uh, the sky's descend. That'd be freaking hilarious. Not if it's free, and it has a super Do I counter that and then open attack? <laughs> yeah, I think that's really most good. Of his, uh, most of his effects are slow, so it's probably bad. Yeah. Okay, he might have not have the answer. Might as well give this guy a barrier. Hi, I'm Zoe. What's your name? You still lose by a lot, so we'll see what you do. Oh, cool. It's just an absolute butt kicking. Cool. <sighs> this deck is fun. I think it's a, actually a pretty decent deck. It's weird, but it actually gets the job done. And I honestly don't even hate the two champions in it, to be honest. Like... Who would you play over Zillion if you were going to build this? <laughs> 